Perfect. <coughs> okay, so we have a, a new um, album coming out in um, two weeks from now, something like that. And we released one video, Animal, on August the 10th. And now the next single is Fight Song. And we wanted to make a video for that song. Um, and we were you know, considering a lot of different options. Either like go to the studio, some kind of studio where, uh, where we you know, set up a light and do things in a controlled manner. Yeah, we could like play with the band, do all sorts of stuff. But we also, you know, one of the most striking th things we've done is uh, playing at the Trolltunga mountain cliff in Norway. And we wanted to you know, see if we could bring some of that spirit of the you know, the Norwegians in the wilderness kind of thing to, the, to a video for a fight song, but without playing live in the forest or on the mountains. So um, we landed on uh, trying to find a cool location uh, that fit the song. I've seen a lot of awesome locations in Iceland without knowing that it's from Iceland. I've seen you know, Prometheus, like the last Alien movie, or the previous Alien movie, Prometheus, is filmed at Detifoss in Iceland. I didn't know that, but I know that now. Uh, Oblivion is filmed in Iceland. There's a lot of science fiction, a lot of Game of Thrones type of stuff that's filmed in Iceland. And um, we decided that we wanted to, you know, go to Iceland, find a guy who knew everything about Iceland, who could just take us anywhere and start just filming on awesome locations. And uh, when we started looking at pictures, we were stricken by um, the fact that the lyrics in, this, in the song, Fight Song, really fits the landscape, the volcanic, almost otherworldly landscapes of Iceland. Uh, we have this phrase in the song, dark shores call us back to heaven if we fall. And the first verse is, black sun shines, a wind-torn landscape were enshrined. Uh, so these kind of the the vibe of the verses, you know, fits perfectly with all the images, all the pictures I saw from Iceland. So we knew that it was going to be a great place to record a video. After some searching around with friends of mine that live in Iceland and you know, looking at videos from Iceland, we found a guy who I thought was called Gawi, but he's really called Gøyi. <laughs> <laughs> He's a really awesome dude. He has three drones. He's like a drone pilot himself, uh, flying these film drones. You know, he's always tra traveling around in Iceland, filming uh, locations for, you know, either his own company or for music videos and stuff. So when I saw his stuff, I knew that he was the guy. And I went to his website and I just got a phone number. And like I usually do, I just call the guy. <clears throat> hey, my name is this and that. I have this and that amount of money. I want to make a video in Iceland. Do you think we can do it? And he said, yes, let's do it. And then that's it. So we just started working. And in two weeks, we had a storyline and, uh, and we had a set of uh, locations we wanted to go to. And that's the kind of guy I love to work with. He, he's like um, the hands-on type of guy that just goes out and does, does it. I wanted to you know, see if maybe we could do something with my looks to make the video look more weird. <clears throat> so I decided to try to make my hair white. And that was harder than I thought. <laughs> it, uh, first of all, you know, it hurts a bit when you do it, uh, but it's also hard to make it actually white. Usually it becomes a bit yellow like it's now. So we did the hair and then we did the, the beard. Like in two, we had to do it twice. And I had this feeling that I was kind of looking like a Santa Claus or kind of like when you, when you like, if you make a cheap film and you're like a, a young actor, you want to make the young actor old, but you want to do it quickly and easily, you just dye the hair, you know, gray and it looks kind of old, but you still look young. So it's like a, I don't know if you saw the Jackass series, Bad Grandpa. <laughs> That's kind of how I felt that looked. But uh, I sent the pictures to Gaye and he said, it, you know, he wanted to, you know, he wanted me to keep the beard and he wanted to try out stuff when I got to Iceland. So I kept the beard and walked around in Oslo looking like a fucking weirdo, a white walker slash grandpa uh, slash Santa Claus. And then we, I came to Iceland and, uh, and we had to do the whole thing again because the, the, uh, you know, the, the stylist in Iceland wanted to try to make the, the hair a bit more gray and we did that and then it, you know, since the hair was already fucked up by all the dye, the hair turned almost, you know, black and the beard too. So we had to, you know, dye it back, bleach it back again. 
and the hair turned pretty white, but the beard turned red. So we decided to just skip the beard. So I took it off. Uh, we'd planned like my, my outfit and we had planned a story and the story was about me being kind of the last human being, the last man on earth. Everybody else was dead. So in this video, we weren't going, going to see any traces of humans or humankind at all. It was going to be only like uh, desolate, otherworldly, almost moon, moon landscapes. That was the, the idea. And I was going to walk around and search for Hel, the Nordic death goddess, the queen of the, of the underworld. And, and I was going to you know, light up these kind of emergency flares on different locations, behind waterfalls, up on cliffs. And then Hel would kind of, when, at the first flare, when that lights up, she you know, feels it and she comes out of her cave. And so then the video starts and she kind of races through this you know, landscape, Iceland trying to find me and I'm all, I'm everywhere trying to find her, lure her out for this fight, kind of like the fight that we're, you know, waiting for. Um, I'm also putting down flowers, which is, uh, which to us was like the signs of life for her to find in, 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 you know, dead, desolate areas. She was going to pick them up or crush them or whatever, whatever death goddess does to life. And then in the end, we were going to meet at this black beach. And then we, you know, we go towards each other and I'm holding up two flares and there's a drone coming, you know, by. And then we run at each other and then pff, it ends and there's the fight. And, you know, we could have filmed this in Lanzarote, which is also a volcanic island. We got a, a lot of great locations in Norway too, but they're so far between. So we, you got to drive, you know, 10 hours between each of these amazing places. But in Iceland, you got them scattered everywhere. So you could live in Reykjavik, the capital of Iceland, and you could, just, you know, do, you know, long shoots at three locations in one day. We chose to stay sort of around uh, Reykjavik to just, so we could, you know, shoot as much as possible and also get the, like the motorcycle shots. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm also riding around on, on horseback. I'm not that good of a rider, so I needed like a stunt double to do the, all the fast riding and the same with a, with a motorcycle. But we were still having to drive, in, you know, out in the outskirts. We had this, you know, Goyi had the, his own car, like a four-wheel drive. So we drove past, you know, big lakes, you know, where we got the, the water as high, like coming over the top of the car. <laughs> One day we were driving home and was, we got close to what we call the golden hour where the sun is going down. And suddenly we were at this place where you know, it was covered with moss and, and there was this thick fog everywhere it looked like a fairy tale and so we just stopped and did this amazing shoot where i walked slowly across uh, uh like this kind of foggy mossy landscape but you know that kind of stuff happens so another time we were going to a glacier because we wanted part of the travel in video to look like we're in a, like a winter landscape so there was this place where the glacier comes down from the mountain and suddenly there's this huge rainbow like all the way from one side, from the ground, all the way up to the other side. And uh, another thing I remember is that, you know, we had this horse that I was going to ride at, and I've never ridden a horse before. And so we went to a friend of Gary's place who had probably, you know, 20 horses and uh, picked a horse. And she was the, you know, the calmest horse they had. She would be calm with me, with a new rider. And also we had this drunk that we were going to film with, so... We needed a horse that didn't get stressed out with a drone. So I started, you know, they started trying to teach me how to ride in the 20 minutes I had to, to learn how to ride. And it worked pretty fine. And then, you know, then she started, the horse started getting, you know, a little bit fed up with my mixed signals. She started just riding fast and I fell off. But it was, you know, it was a smooth landing because it, because it was another one of these moss filled uh, fields. So I just bumped up. And, uh, you know, we got friends after that, but we had, you know, I did some riding, but the fast riding obviously had to be done by the, the local horse guy. So I look like I'm a super pro rider, 
but I'm not. It's a stunt double. I'm not Tom Cruise yet. Goyi is the kind of guy that I love to work with. He's hands-on. He's uh, we worked like from the from the sunrise to when the sun comes down, uh, all you know, in freezing cold weather. And he was driving, and when he was too tired, I was driving, and then he was flying the drone. He was doing, we were, we were basically two guys in the car almost all the time. Okay, it's day three, four, three, three. Yes. Day three of the fight song video shoot. This is Goyi. It looks like a Viking. He is a Viking. We're in Iceland. We are. We are at this fucking awesome location here. But it's raining, so we gotta wait for the rain to stop before we do the rest of the sh shoot. Uh, and also, you know, he on the third day, second or third day, it was his birthday. So that also, you know, so we got to celebrate his, he's got to celebrate his birthday with me in some sort of glaciers somewhere in Iceland. So today is Gay's birthday. He's uh, like uh, 21 years old. Definitely. Yeah. And he, and he got uh, a rainbow for his birthday. Are you happy with your present? Always. I don't need a lot. That's you know, beautiful. That's beautiful. <laughs> you know he's, he's like me, he's working all the time and just getting things done. The first thing I did in Iceland is also one of the things I remember the most. Uh, it was the day when I arrived and we've, we fucked around with my hair and you know made it how it is in the video. And then we went to do the first shoot, which was me Getting, falling into a super cold lake, and it was September. I don't know what the temperature was, but it f felt like it was close to freezing point. So I was going backwards on a stone uh, close to the lake, and I was going to fall slowly backwards like this. And then, and then I was, was going to land like that, and we we're going to reverse it up slow motion, so I was coming up like that and walking. And uh, and we were planning on doing it every night, just in, you know, trying to get it better and better. But it turned out pretty good on the first night, even though it was cold as hell. And I, you know, I, I suddenly learned how dangerous it is to fall in the ocean in the winter. So I'm I'm glad I'm I'm glad I don't have to do that too many times. And we didn't really do it more than once because it looked good. But also, the more I, you know, after a week of, of being around in Iceland, walking around in leather, red leather jacket and this thin kind of cotton sweater underneath, and some, some gloves that are just leather, you know, no insulation at all. For a week, I was freezing every, every day, every night, freezing my ass off. I just got less and less inclined to do that, you know, last kind of falling in the ocean, falling in the lake shot. So I'm glad we didn't have to do it more than once. You know, as usual, it was a lot of waiting when you do a music video, but the difference is that you're not waiting inside drinking coffee and eating crackers. You're waiting outside in the fucking hailstorm. But that's how I like it.